vlogs welcome back to my channel so today I am sharing with you guys how I do my everyday makeup routine if you guys want to follow me you can follow me on Instagram right here and yeah you can see everything that I do my day-to-day -day life on Instagram but like I said today I am going to be sharing with you my everyday makeup routine okay guys so the first thing i want to do is i'm going to prep my skin i'm going to use my caudalie vino perfect it has spf 20 and this is just going to go all over my skin it's a really natural look i don't really wear much another new thing that i have been loving to use under my eye is the milk cooling water <laughs> it's the cooling water and this i feel like it really helps depuff and it adds a bit of hydration under the eye so that when you put your concealer on, it doesn't feel um, like cakey or dry under the eye. My skin is prepped, but the first product that I'm also going to put on before I apply any foundation is the Farsali Liquid Glass. I got this in my Sephora Favorites, bro bleh, Sephora Favorites box that comes out um, for the holidays. And this particular product was in there, but it's so amazing. I'm definitely going to get the full-size product because I just love the way it makes your skin look so, like, dewy. Okay, done with that. Um, and I'm going to move on to my brows, which I use the Makeup Obsession Brow Pomade with the Essence um, Make Me Brow Gel. So these are the two products that I use on my brows. I like to use very little product when I do my brows. Um, I like to do a nice little line underneath. I focus a lot of the product just in the front of my brow. And then I like to just run a little bit of this. I love this because it has like little fibers in it and it actually works really nice. I like the look it gives me in the front of my brows. That. After the brow is on and shaped, I will go in with my concealer. I like to use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer for this because it matches my skin tone really well. And I take a little bit of that. And I'll clean up my brows. So, brows are done. And the next thing I'm going to do is I like to do my eyes first. I picked up the Kylie Holiday Kit from Ulta. It comes with two eyeshadows, a blush, and three lip products. So I'm gonna use everything from this today because I've, I've been wanting to play with this and these to me are the perfect everyday colors. So that is what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna use these two. Um, it's quartz and topaz. I'm gonna use topaz in the crease and probably all over the lid and the quartz in the inner corner and brow bone which i will show you um and i'm gonna put a little bit of a base I'm just gonna use my l'oreal concealer Okay guys, so my lighting keeps coming in and out, but I put the face down and I'm going to use that Kylie shadow. So with a big fluffy brush, I'm going to pick up that Topaz shade. Ooh, they're a little dusty, but I feel like this, because I had an older palette of hers, the first one she came out with, and I feel like her shadows are really powdery but pigmented. I'm going to put this in the crease. That really does blend out beautifully. So I had to fix my lighting because it was not coming out bright enough. Um, so I am taking 
the topaz shade right into my crease like I showed you in the other clip but now you could see a little bit better and I'm building it up and making sure that everything is blended I'm now gonna go into the topaz shade and pack this I'm not gonna add any like wet it because I want to see if it really is metallic Ooh, that is really pretty I thought this was a perfect palette because if you are into neutrals you can really play around with this palette like that I'm taking another big fluffy brush and just fluffing all of that away like that and then I actually want to add a little bit of a darker brown at the rim of my eye or not the rim the upper part so I'm going to take a flat little brush like that. Now I'm going to use a dark brown, which I'm going to use the dark brown from my Huda palette, this one right here. And that is just going to line my eye. I don't want to do a, um, a liquid liner. Just wanted to do something really soft. And that's the liner the next and final step would be to apply your mascara I love the milk kush mascara so that's what I so the eyes are done the next thing I'm going to do is my foundation um, the foundation that I have been using is the milk um, what is this the flex milk's flex foundation um the only thing is i don't really like to use it um straight onto my face i like to rub it into a brush because i feel like it gives me a more natural finish versus if i wanted full coverage i would put it all over but for day to day i like to just rub it into the brush and put it on areas that i need it i am currently my skin is currently purging because I've been doing a few masks and I also did the Indian clay mask um, recently which I will be sharing with you guys like how I do a mask and kind of like a nighttime routine so be on the lookout for that I'm also going to be doing a morning routine a Sunday morning routine so taking some of that some more So my foundation is on and the next step is to put some concealer I like this Huda one it's the overreached concealer it has a metal tip like this and what I do is I just take a little because you don't need much The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my makeup and I'm going to use the Fenty Prep Powder that I got. I don't know how I really feel about this powder, which is why I got the small one. Um, my favorite powders are the Ambient Light Powders from... 
hourglass but normally I would do like cream contour if I'm going out out and want full coverage and for my makeup to last all day or and cream blush but today I'm just gonna do powder um, and I'm gonna use my new Fenty bronzer in private island a big fluffy brush I'm gonna dust away the powder I have under my eye. Make sure everything looks blended. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some blush. I have this Kylie blush in We're Going Shopping, which is a nice peachy toned blush. I'm gonna go right in. So guys, the next thing to do is add a highlighter. I'm gonna use the Amrezi, Amrezi highlighter. I love this highlighter. It's such a beautiful gold color. I like to put it on the tip of my nose right there. So the lip shade in the Kylie kit is a little too light for me um, for the look that I have on right now. So I'm going to use my Fenty liquid lipstick in Uncuff. And then top it off with a Buxom gloss and sugar. These are my favorite glosses ever. So you guys, this is the completed look. This would normally take me about 10 minutes to do. It did take longer, obviously, because I was explaining all the steps, but it's such an easy look to do. You don't need much. Um, you don't even have to add the powder liner if you want. You just put that on, mascara, and go. Or you can also make it darker in the crease. There's so many different things that you could do. You could do more of a warmer brown, but two shadows and you're good to go. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy this little tutorial. Again, hit the subscribe button if you are interested in beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. And until my next video, you guys, bye.